Hey Photoshoppers! In this video we are going to talk about size and resolution. But before we get there, I want to let you know that size and resolution is sort of a complicated concept. It has a lot to do with how the camera captures and what kind of device you're printing on, even whether you're printing or you're going on screen, like a smartphone or a website. All of these things have different requirements and different factors that you have to consider. And we're not going to get into all of that, but we are going to talk a little bit about the basics of size and resolution because it's a very important concept for graphic designers. As you can see here, I've got a image open. It's an image of an eagle. And imagine for a moment that you're looking out a window or something like that and you see this eagle. And you have a digital camera, so you want to capture that. And you lift the camera up, you focus, you click, and then you get a digital picture. How did that happen? Well, take a look here for a second, and you'll see in this image, on the left you see a tree, and then the camera is in the middle. Everything after the tree is part of the camera. So the camera looks through the lens and then deals with this sensor that you'll notice that there's a grid. And we've talked about pixels, so I want you to understand that that is related to pixels. In fact, that is what the digitizing process is, taking a real world image and making it into pixels. And that's what the camera does. So in this example, you can see that the light goes through the lens into this filter, into a processor, and then it saves the file as a JPEG file. So back to that, what you need to understand about resolution is resolution has to do with how many pixels are in an image. We measure that by the number of pixels across and the number of pixels down. The total number of pixels, if you're into math, happens to be the horizontal number of pixels times the vertical number of pixels. So anyway, when you lift up that camera, depending upon how many squares of color that camera can capture is how many pixels that image is going to have. The more pixels, the more squares of color that that camera can capture, the higher the resolution, the more number of pixels your image is going to be. So take a look here. I've got a grid. And imagine you're lifting up the camera and you have a really bad camera. In other words, it just has a small number of pixels. So you put it over and you've got this grid. And so this is what the camera might see if it had just a small number of pixels. The result, when you took the shot, would be something like this. There's the number of pixels in the back of the camera. So the camera comes on. And now the camera can only create one color for one pixel. So as you can tell, it's not a very accurate representation of the real world because there's not enough pixels to create detail. So how do you solve that problem? Well, you get a camera that's got more pixels. So here's another example. Let's say you get a higher resolution camera, a camera that's got more pixels. There you see there's more pixels in the same area, which gives you more detail. Now still, that's not enough detail. So what you want is you want a camera that's going to give you enough detail that when I look at it, or when anybody looks at it, at the size it's supposed to be, they can't see the pixels. The pixels are going to be there, but they're so small that the eye sort of runs them together and you can't see the pixels. So for example, here's this next version. As you can see, the pixels are small enough that your eye can't distinguish them. So this is a high enough resolution image at the size that we're looking at it. If we were to zoom in on it, we would start to see pixels, 
which then would mean if we wanted it that size, we would have to have a higher resolution image.